Lately, I have been confused which 3D printer I will buy. It wasn't that easy to choose between P2S from Bumble Lab and U1 from Snapmaker. Both printers, it's amazing, but just I need to pick up one from two. If you look at the price, there is not big difference. Of course, depends where you live. Every country have different policy about taxes. For example, me, I live in Finland. If I order P2S printer, it cost me 815 euros. This it's included taxes and shipping when it's 25 euros. At same, if I order U1 printer, it cost me 900 euro, 850 euro for the printer and 50 euro for the shipping per unit. If you look at the price, they are almost same. There is 85 euro different and it's not big different. If you look at multicolor printing, U1 printer, it's much better. U1 printer using different tool heads. So every time it needs to print with different filament, just it needs to change the tool head. That can make it print faster and using less filament. In other side, P2S printer use AMS to print multicolors. So every time you need to print with different filament, AMS it need to pull back the filament. Then it need to load the new filament with the extruder. After that, it need to pull the previous filament out, then continue printing. This method is adding more printing time and creating more filament waste. If you look at multicolor printing, you want it's much better, but it doesn't mean it's everything. I was confused between these two printers, which one I buy, but then I decided to buy P2S printer. There was many reasons for that decision and I will share it with you. Before that, I want to tell that both printers, it's amazing and depends on your needs. Some it's good for them, you want some it's good for them P2S. I try to explain to you step by step. When you buy 3D printer, you are not just buying 3D printer. Also you are buying software, included slicer and a handy app and all features. If you look at Bumble app, they have more advanced software than Snapmaker. And this is it's normal because Snapmaker it's new to FDM printing. Bumble app, they have the easiest software in 3D printing industry for me. I tried many, but I still I think Bumble Lab it's the easiest. You have Bumble Studio where you can prepare and slice and send it to print. Then you have a handy app where you can control and send the file to the printer. Plus that they have Maker World, what it's amazing option. Maker World, it's platform where you can share your files and also you can print others files too. There is more than million 3D models there with the 10 million monthly active users. That means there is a big community in that platform. The bad thing about Bumble Lab that it's an ecosystem. So you have to use them software. It's not open source, so you cannot use QR or Prosa Slicer. In other side, if you look at Snapmaker, there is a handy app, there is Slicer, there is platform so where you can share files and but it's not same as Bumble app. But the good thing about Snapmaker, it's open source so you can use other platform, you can use different slices, whatever you want. Here is choice it's for you. Depends on your needs and what you do. If you like the easy option, you do everything at the same program, you just need to slice and send it to the printer. Maybe Bumble it's good for you, but it's limited. If you are a person who like to use different programs or play with the G code or some other options, it might be that Snapmaker is better for you. Most people who want to buy these two printers, it's because of multicolor. But multicolor printing, it's not the same. Depends what kind of multicolor you want to print. Let's take example about me. Most of my multicolor printing, it have two different colors. This kind of print that the printer, it need to pause at high. For example, it start play, print with one color. Then at some high, it will make pause, change the filament, load it, then start printing until it's done. This kind of multicolor printing, it have less waste, but some multicolor printing that the printer, it need to change multiple filament at every layer. In this case, you want it's much better option for you because you save more time and you save filament. What I want to say, it depends what kind of multicolor printing you want to print. You should check that so when you know that it's easier for you to decide which printer is best for you. But in case you don't need multicolor printing, you don't need to order AMS at all. You just need to order P2S printer, 
and you can print with one filament. The good thing about Bumble App P2S that you don't need to buy everything at one time. So you can buy printer. Then later, if you think that you need to print with a multicolor, so you can buy AMS. Let's say example, someone who is beginner and he want to get in 3D printing. So you can buy 3D printer. It's a good starting and good intro to 3D printing world. Then later, if you think that you need to start with multicolor printing, so you can order AMS. If you just buy the printer, it will cost you 550 euros. About community, Bumble Lab have bigger community, and this is its normal because Snapmaker before they was focusing more on laser cutting and other products. There wasn't main focus on FDM 3D print, and this is its normal. But they are gaining more users. And this it's good for future it's growing it's good sometimes to buy printer what others also they use it so in case if you have problem or if you want let's say something it break you just need to go youtube how to change that how to do that and this it helps a lot it's not only just for beginners even expert let's say example someone who before use different brand let's say that you have been using prusa or creality then you change you buy you one from snapmaker in case if you need to change some part or something it's easier for you when there is a bigger community there is much people having the same issue what you have so you have more easy access to information i don't think there is problem about that because snapmaker they are gaining more new users with time in the end i want to tell that both printers it's amazing and of course every printer have a good side and bad side and you just need to check what's the best for you and i said that for example me i bought this p2s printer just because software it's more easier for me to do everything in the same software i don't need to jump from one to another and my multicolor printing it's very simple so i need to pause at high and change the filament it's not that complicated 3d printing it's getting better and cheaper every year and i believe in the future it will be better option for this multicolor printing it's good now we have more competition between snapmaker prusa bumble lab and this is it's good for consumer now we get to the end of the video thank you for watching see you again